Hi, I'm Polly McKinney, Advocacy Director at Voices for Georgia's Children, and welcome to my two-minute-ish take. First, I apologize for wearing that terrible sweater last week because it just looked terrible. I looked like a big rodent. So we're not doing that again. I'm going to be a little more up, uptown for you guys from here on out. So we, right now, this is being recorded in the beautiful house chamber, which you can see behind me. This is, remember we did one a few weeks ago in the Senate chamber. It was really small. This is the house chamber. It's got a lot more members, and it's very beautiful and very well preserved in its historic loveliness and very well kept by our wonderful doorkeepers here that we we love and see every day. Busy, busy, busy week. Let me just say first that it was a busy week because this coming Friday, the 13th, is crossover day, which is the last day when a bill can viably move from one chamber to another. So everybody's trying to get all of their legislation through committee in their houses and through the rules committees into the into the House or Senate so that they can be voted out in crossover, and hence the name crossover day. So it's been super busy. We've been burning a lot of hours uh, in committee, listening to bills and watching bills move and lots of push around so I'm just going to talk about a few things that happened and then you can read my update which you can click to here you can click to one of these places to watch to look at my update on the Senate side the opportunity school district legislation that the governor has been pushing passed it's a constitutional amendment that if it passes the house you'll get to see in a you know in about a year or so um, on the ballot about whether or not the, the state can take over failing schools um, so watch for that. The Child Welfare Reform Bill, which is Senate Bill 134, just was voted, this is Friday, you're probably watching this on Monday or Tuesday, this is Friday, it was just voted out this morning, uh, given a, a recommended due pass by the Senate Health and Human Services Committee. We like that bill, we would like to see it pass, so um, you'll hear more about that in a minute. Also, the Senate has been looking at the FY16 appropriations, um, having hearings all week, that's kind of interesting. And um, on the House side, the Adult Criminal Justice Reform Bill, House Bill 138, passed um, the, out of the House and is now over in the Senate, so it'll probably hang around there until after crossover day. And then on Monday, coming up on the floor of the House, is a House Bill 110, which is the fireworks bill, which um, would legalize the sale of explosive fireworks in Georgia. And I can tell you, uh, it is, it's a mixed bag, that one. Just watch our update for information about that. Um, I promised I'd keep you up to speed on the cannabinoid oil bills. Uh, there, as I said last week, there are a couple of them. There's Alan Peake's bill, which has already passed out of the House and uh, gone over to the Senate. And Lindsey Tippins introduced a narrower bill in the Senate, which had a hearing this week. And then it got kind of expanded, so it's kind of complicated. So read my update because I don't can't tell you all about it in just like five seconds. What else happened this week? It was Children's Day. It was really fun. Um, and it was peanut butter and jelly day, which was really fun because we all get to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches at the Capitol. And that's kind of the bulk of what has happened. So next week will be three legislative days. It'll be very long, probably, so that everybody's in committee. Um, sometimes in crossover day could go all the way till midnight um, as bills are voted out of the chambers. It's kind of crazy. Um, so we'll be here. Uh, the advocacy ask for the week is to please call your senator but you can find your senator, Andrea will put a bubble up somewhere about finding your senator. Call your senator and ask them to vote yes on the Child Welfare Reform Bill, which is Senate Bill 134, when they have the opportunity. We really want to see that bill move, and um, it's a great piece of legislation. And that's it. Have a great week. See you next week.